Hey what's up guys welcome back to this quick update tutorial where I'm going to teach you how to create this circle based pop animation so without any further ado let's get started okay guys I'm gonna start with a new composition and let's go with this circle burst pop and I'm gonna go with default setting 1920 by 1080 24 frames per second and let's go with 5 seconds as the duration and I will go with the black as the background color and I'm gonna hit ok now we need to find the center of this composition so we can use the action shape icon i'm gonna hold alt on my keyboard and click on this action shape icon this will give us the center of this composition i'm gonna go to toolbar and select the pen tool we only need a stroke so i'm gonna just disable the fill and let's go with 22 pixel with a stroke later of this tutorial i will show how to add a gradient color stroke okay and i'm gonna just click here and then hold shift on my keyboard and click right here now we have this simple stroke okay as you can see it's not aligned with the horizontally so i'm gonna just select this layer and then press ctrl alt home on my keyboard to reset the anchor point now we can use the align tool to align it horizontally okay now i'm gonna just rename this layer as line so i'm gonna just select this and then press enter on my keyboard to rename this let's type line now i will open this and let's go to add and add a repeater okay now i'm gonna just open the repeater properties and here i will set the copies value to 12 if you want uh, more copies you can just type 24 okay and for this one i will go with 12 and let's go to transform repeater one option and here i'm gonna set the position x and y to both zero okay now all of these repeater copies in the exact same position like that now i'm gonna go to rotation properties and i'm gonna just type 360 divided by 12 that's because uh, we have these 12 copies if you have 24 or 36 copies you need to type 36 okay and i'm gonna just release this close this up because we are done with the repeater now i'm gonna add a trim path so this way we can animate the trim path i'm gonna just drag and drop this to below now let's open the trim path and let's go four frame forward like that now i'm gonna create a keyframe for the both start and in values set the both of this start and in value to zero now let's go to 12 frame mark and set both of these value to 100 like that now i'm gonna just select these keyframes and then press f9 to easy the keyframes like that now let's offset this start keyframe by maybe four frames like that and let's see the animation as you can see now we have this simple circle burst animation i'm gonna just open the shape and then go to stroke i'm gonna set the line cap to round cap so we can get this smooth edge like that now if you want a gradient stroke you can just disable the default stroke and then go to add and add a gradient stroke now i'm gonna open the gradient stroke properties and set the stroke width to around 21 like that now we can set the line cap to round cap just like that okay we have this gradient uh, properties right here what we can do is we can select the selection tool and then select the start point this way we can get this slider which you can control the gradient like that you can create a really cool effect using this method as you can see now i'm gonna open the uh, edit gradient properties this way we can add a different color for the gra our gradient and i'm gonna just give this some kind of uh, green color like that i'm gonna just close this gradient stroke properties like that now if you check the animation you will have this simple circle burst pop animation as you can see let's go to one second mark and press n on my keyboard and it will in the composition right here as you can see now if you want a uh, different shapes to this nice uh, pop we can add a zigzag effect select the content folder and then go to add and add a zigzag effect now as you can see this way we can add a nice zigzag effect to this stroke like that i'm gonna just decrease the reach per segment around maybe five if you guys want more you can just increase the value okay let's also increase the size something like that it's like a shock wave as you can see you can go crazy with this if you want to decrease the stroke width you can go to shape one and then gradient stroke and you can decrease the stroke width okay and you can also add another zigzag to give uh, some kind of whole different effect as you can see i recommend you guys to just play with these settings 
and you will get a really cool pop effect and as you can see and yeah i'm gonna just disable it for now you can place it around the composition like that and create a really cool burst circle animation i'm gonna just select this and press ctrl d to duplicate and yeah that's basically it and i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial as always thank you so much for all of my patreon supporters and i wish you guys in the next one